remember that stick to a particular source revise multiple times that is going to help you and have belief in yourself even if you've given multiple examinations from whatever type of background you are uh, your hard work and your effort will never go waste so have faith faith can move mountains and have a very clean organized strategy and i'm sure uh, you'll be able to crack this exam So hi guys and welcome back once again to the series of success stories of Nabad Grade 8 Toppers. Today with me is a very special guest. He is Mr. Siddhant Ahuja who has cleared this exam in his very first attempt. So congratulations Siddhant and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much sir. It's a pleasure to be here. So Siddhant, uh, first of all the students would love to know about your educational background since when you have been preparing for the competitive examinations and uh, yeah. all these things students want to know right sir so i completed my graduation in bcom honors from du in 2015 uh, i was working with ernst and young as an associate auditor till the end of 2016 uh, 2017 onwards i started preparing for upsc i have written three attempts uh, but unfortunately i could not go beyond the main stage uh, so last year i decided to look elsewhere and the other options that i had at hand Uh, I did appear for RBI last year in March, uh, but unfortunately, I could not clear the sectional cutoff for quant by a single mark. Uh, so that's where it ended. Uh, Nabard then came into the picture. Uh, I would like to mention that I was very unsure if I should go ahead and take the Nabard exam because uh, for a non-agri student, ERD seems to be a mental block. Uh, but I'm glad that I did not uh, let that stop me, and I went ahead and I gave the paper, and I'm fortunate enough uh, to be selected to be working for such a prestigious organization. very good so i think uh, we can see that <clears throat> there are a lot there were a lot of hurdles in the path to to this success of uh, siddhant but fortunately aaj wo yahan tak pahunch chuke hain and jitne bhi hurdles the unko cross kar liya hai right so now siddhant we will move ahead towards the strategy that you have followed for all the three stages of examination pre mains and interview so first of all uh, please tell the students about what strategy that you have followed for the pre exam Uh, right sir so so uh, i'll be honest i started my preparation for pre only after the notification uh, came out so august was the only month that i had uh, largely to prepare for pre uh, if i talk about the merit section esi ard ga uh, for esi i already had a good base with my upsc prep uh, for ard i looked at the pyqs and i identified important areas mm -hmm. uh, where nabard is asking questions repeatedly so for me i identified areas such as horticulture Uh, animal husbandry irrigation agronomy and soils and i decided that i will cover these portions largely mm -hmm. i used youtube extensively there are a lot of videos uh, that are available you need to identify them and stick to that uh, particular source and keep revising them mm -hmm. uh, if i may mention i also referred to a book uh, by nemrat sunda it's a very thick book so i would not suggest uh, to do it cover by cover mm -hmm. but yes certain important areas you can cover and make possible short notes out of it and keep revising them i also refer to the tnau website the tamil nadu agriculture university website uh, specifically for breeds mm -hmm. again very extensively covered i made short notes out of that and revised it mm -hmm. for ga uh, i did a lot of newspaper reading i read three newspapers in a day so it really helped me again not just for ga that helped me in esi ard as well but i coupled that with any good compilation monthly compilation that you can find specifically for banking exams mm -hmm. any one that you like but i would suggest don't go for multiple compilations mm -hmm. stick to one i covered about 6 months uh, from the exam date uh, of ga and i revised them repeatedly so that was my strategy for the merit section for uh, the non merit section uh, i was very weak in qre again i saw videos on youtube i identified the topics that uh, i had i was slightly more comfortable with in quant mm -hmm. uh, revised them repeatedly understood what the tips and tricks are gave mocks uh, solved all the pyqs that were available online uh, so that's what helped me there english i was very comfortable with i solved a few mocks and i was happy with my performance mm -hmm. for computers again you can pick up any good compilation that you can find online it's very easy it's it's not very complicated you can revise it go through it solve your mocks and you're good to go uh, one area that was a concern to a lot of us was decision making because it was newly introduced but according to me it's only 10 marks you need to get the minimum qualifying marks i didn't do anything specific for it it was very common sense questions and i went ahead and i gave it 
but now that we know what kind of questions uh, nabard is asking i would say it's something similar to the management portion of rbi so if you're preparing for rbi and you've covered that you're good to go with the decision making portion as well yes so i think siddhant you have you have followed a very beautiful strategy and three four takeaways from his strategies are like he first of all he was very organized while preparing for the examination so the very important thing is this you have to be organized then you have to stick to the sources that you have identified first of all you have to identify the sources what siddhant did and stick to those sources then mock interview of course and since the prelims examination are there are various factual questions in the prelims examination so revision is the key to success all right so you have to continuously revise each and everything all right so now uh, siddhant let's move ahead to the main part so you were preparing for upsc so you must have the answer writing practice but students here who are not preparing for upsc what they can do for uh, this uh, answer writing part what tips you would like to give to those students right sir so as you mentioned i had a uh, practice of upsc answer writing but the challenge here is that you have to type the answers you don't yes. have to write so the first thing i would suggest is buy an old keyboard mm. don't use your laptop keyboard mm. buy an old keyboard for both english descriptive and uh, esird descriptive portion the keyboard at the exam center will make your life hell it's it's <laughs> very difficult that sometimes the keys won't work mm. your enter and your space key will be very hard mm. so be prepared for the worst possible situation at the exam center mm. so i did i i bought an old keyboard and i used to practice on that to get a sense of uh, what my speed is and the interface is also not very user friendly in the exam mm. so you can use a notepad uh, to type not word you will not have an auto correct of any sort over mm. there so uh, the that portion clears it for the answer writing for practice we were lucky that we had a good two month gap between the pre and the mains which was yes. a very healthy time mm. but uh, i don't think that will be the case every time so it's good to get started before phase 1 itself mm. but not in the last say 30 days the last 30 days before pre should be kept only for that mm. but since notification is still not out it's a good time uh, to do your practice mm. for esi for ard and uh, it's also important to remember that the questions are usually current based mm. but only if your static is clear will you be able to tackle those questions mm. as well in esi you identify important areas such as say uh, inflation growth monetary policy fiscal policy mm. if your basics are clear from any basic eco book or even if you're taking coaching anywhere uh, you should be good to go with esi portion for ard the areas that i had mentioned again i just stuck to those what really helped me was my newspaper reading since a lot of the questions were current based so mm. questions around msp around drip irrigation they were all in the current issues so i had extensively read editorials i had data and facts that i had jotted down in my notes which i used in my answers you can use committees reports sdgs i used them extensively while writing answers mm -hmm. and the point here to remember is that 600 400 words 15 10 marks it's not a hard and fast rule mm. if you've covered every aspect of the question that has been asked it's important to identify what the demand of the question is mm. don't write what you know on that topic mm. understand what the question is asking frame an intro body and a conclusion use good amount of healthy amount of data government reports schemes usually there are a lot of government schemes and then you write your answer mm. the obviously the bouncer here was the cross breeding question because it was a compulsory question mm -hmm. but i did not let that throw me off mm -hmm. i made sure that my rest of my answers were the best that i could possibly do mm -hmm. in cross breeding i remember i think i only wrote about 150 words not mm -hmm. more than that i knew that i'm not going to fool the examiner by writing random facts mm -hmm. i will write whatever little i know mm -hmm. and i'll work upon the other answers and that strategy worked for me mm -hmm. so for esi ard again stick to your sources if you're taking a coaching stick to that revise them mm -hmm. but be very aware of the current happenings mm -hmm. and keep your data and your notes ready to be written in the exam mm -hmm. practice is very important mm -hmm. so uh, if you are taking a coaching somewhere if not if you have a peer group there will be questions that will come up yes practice self evaluate don't wait for someone else to evaluate your answers mm -hmm. I think if you've studied this much you are capable enough of self evaluating your answers so do your typing and your speed practice uh, and I'd say yeah so go ahead and good amount of practice will really help yes so i think sab kuch unhone bata diya hai for the mains uh, preparation isse alawa aapko kuch bhi karne ki zarurat nahi hai itna is more than enough for you i think ye sari cheez aapko apne dimag mein rakhni hai anup sir ne bhi aapko kai baar batayi hai ye sari cheeze so these are the things that you have follow for the mains answer writing practice 
I think all the all the aspects of Bain's answer writing are covered by Mr. Siddharth. And now let's move ahead to the interview part, Siddharth. So now uh, we would love to know that what sources that you have followed for the interview, and when did you start uh, the preparation for interview? Uh, so, so again, his wife feel I think because of the third wave, mm-hmm. we had a lot of time for the interview. I think uh, December thirty first, our mains result came. My interview was in mid March, so mm-hmm. coffee time tha, coffee mm-hmm. time tha. So mock interviews are very important, mm-hmm. and always remember your mock interviews are going to be more difficult than the actual interview. Mm-hmm. So be prepared for that. Mm-hmm. Mock interviews help you identify uh, which areas you need to work on, what sources you you need to use. Uh, Sources specifically, I was reading newspapers every day, so I was well aware of the current happenings. Mm-hmm. Nabad has a brilliant website, absolutely brilliant. Everything is covered extensively. What departments Nabad has, what they do, the projects that they have. There are multiple PDFs on their website for any of the funds that they run or the projects that they run. It's a wonderful website. Make notes out of it. Mm-hmm. They have a brilliant annual report as well. Mm-hmm. I did the annual report cover to cover, covered every aspect that I could possibly could. uh additionally they have a very good youtube channel mm-hmm. so i think uh, even before you start your preparation for anybody who's starting their nabard preparation go and have a look at the youtube channel to get a sense of the kind of organization that you will be yes, working for that's very important really it, it, it really motivates mm-hmm. you the work that they're doing uh, they're very active on their youtube as well mm-hmm. so have a look at that as well uh for mock interview i i remember uh, xcgm nabard at uh, i i taken a mock interview at anand jindal and uh, mr deepak uh, sir yes. who had taken an interview and uh, he asked very relevant questions he identified my weak spots mm-hmm. and i worked on them and that really helped me mm-hmm. uh again uh, the questions in the actual interview if i may go there because i have a work experience so they did talk about that uh, mm-hmm. since i have work experience in audit they touched upon the balance sheet yeah. and the source of funds the application of funds the interest rates that nabard charges on the money that it's lending uh, additionally a lot of technical questions were asked from mm-hmm. now the projects that nabard is doing mm-hmm. specifically related to my state so i read the state focus paper as well for my uh, native state mm-hmm. the agriculture uh, the rural economy of my state what how nabard is contributing to that so and overall it's a very cordial board remember they are not testing your knowledge in the interview that's already been done in the first two phases it is going to be your personality how you handle uh, the questions and how suitable you are to the organization i remember there were two three technical questions that i could not answer mm-hmm. and i was very honest about it i did not try to fool the panel i, mm-hmm. I told them i don't know very honestly mm-hmm. and they were glad that i did that mm-hmm. and i i have walked with a big smile on my face after the interview and i was very like, confident uh, that i was going to make it yes so i think uh, beautiful uh, strategy regarding interview as well so you have to follow three four things number one you have to follow the nabard website then you have to go through the nabard annual report then of course the ongoing international and national events theek hai and yes the very important thing that siddhant mentioned is don't try to fool the panel agar kuch nahi aata hai to aap ek choti si smile leke you can say i'm sorry sir main iske bare mein padh lunga theek hai so that was the strategy of interview of uh, siddhant ahuja now siddhant uh, chalte chalte kuch aakhri tips that you want to give to the students who are preparing and who will who, who will be giving the examination this year all right sir so i think one very important thing that i just mentioned go open nabard's youtube channel have a look at uh, what the organization is doing i think that will give you a good amount of motivation to continue prepar- uh, preparation uh, for this exam remember that stick to a particular source revise multiple times that is going to help you and have belief in yourself even if you've given multiple examinations from whatever t- type of background you are uh, your hard work and your effort will never go waste so have faith faith can move mountains and have a very clean organized strategy and i'm sure uh, you'll be able to crack this exam All right, Siddhan. So it was nice talking to you, and I believe uh, आप आगे चल के भी और कुछ बहुत बड़ा फोड़ो हुए definitely. Thank you, sir. So guys, that's it for this session, and we will see you in the next success story. Till then, पढ़ते रहो. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.